welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about Brain on Fire Autoimmune Disorder Improves with Blood Plasma Exchanges, Rutgers Research Suggests. The recent study highlights the medical case of a 5-year-old girl suffering from anti-NMDAR or N-methyl-D aspartate receptor encephalitis, a rare difficult to diagnose malfunction of the brain. Unresponsive to treatment, the child had been transferred to a rehabilitation center and been in a catatonic state for three months when a team of Rutgers physicians were called in to help. Bise and two other Rutger physicians entered the case after the child's mother requested a second opinion and the family's attending physician reached out to Bise. The mother told the Rutger's team that after a rapid phase of degeneration of mental state and body function, the child had remained immobile and unresponsive. Generally, time is the essence in treating autoimmune diseases and the standard of care dictates that no treatment is useful if too much time has passed, Bise said. Most of the time, any damage caused by the disease can't be undone. The child had been given a course of steroids, pooled antibodies and a long-term immunosuppressant. Bise and his team decided to administer a series of blood plasma exchanges designed to reset the immune system by cleaning out all the inflammation in the bloodstream. They saw progress almost instantly. As they continued with the treatment, ultimately with nearly a dozen more plasma exchanges, the child improved steadily until she had made a full recovery. I think the lesson that we have learned here is that you can still treat this disease after time has passed, Pisa said. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.